hello friends welcome to the my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to create the candlestick chart or how to create the trading chart data or how to create the trading view chart there is a lots of question about how to create the uh, trading view chart application in our qt so let's start just simply include the first chart module and include the basic required header file like qt core module Also include the Qt GUI and Qt widget. Widgets and Qt chart. So now let's create the candlestick series. Q candlestick series. Assign the memory for initialize the object. Now let's set the title, set name, let's display the Bitcoin data, set increase the color at when value is going to up, let's set the green color for it, when value is going to down, set decrease, decreasing color. For red okay now let's we have to need a candle set data for each candle so let's create the private function and use the candlestick set set candle data here we have we need to three uh, for five datas so first value is open value open the candle value so open second is high pick point value second uh, third one is a low value and last one is close so now let's create the body of that function create the object set equal to new candlestick okay now let's set the values set open open value set high set low value and set close value and return the object okay so now let's add these some set values in our series and also create these uh, categories so let's create the string value string list for category now let's add the series append call the function directly directly and pass the value open value is uh, 10 100.30 high value is 120.35 low value is 95.30 and close value is 105.10 so this is the random data also at the category let's assign the gen january okay so let's add the 12 data of each month of year so let's assign the value 2015 okay so this is the random data change year to february change year then to march and april and let's change the value here open value is 125 high value is 130 and 110 
and close value is uh, 105 okay now let's um, change the data let's do it quickly so these are the random data okay you have to provide your real time data for that functionality change here month name So now let's create some basic uh, random data. One to one hundred and forty, and here to ten to forty-five, and forty-five to fifty. Uh, open close value is or uh, high low value is thirty-five, and close value is forty-five again. And here the open value is one hundred, and close high value is one twenty-five, low value is uh, ninety-five, and close value is one hundred and ten. Open value is let's assign the open value is 500. Close uh, high value is 510. Close value is uh, set low value is uh, 315 and close value is 450. Same here, change the value. Let's uh, assign 600, 650. The low value is uh, 610 and close value is wow. 625 20 okay now let's also change here 300 325 315 and 250 change here 400 425 420 and change to 410 change here to 700 Open value is 700, change here to high value is 750 and low value is 600 and close value is 650. Also change here the value 9350 to 750 opening value 800, 760 and close value is 780. So our data is ready of our candle now let's display the data in our chart so let's create the chart object create the chart object initialize the object add the series now let's set the title of the chart Set title. Bitcoin data of year 2015. Okay, so this is the title. Also set the animation. Animation option to chart series animation. Let's set. Now let's create the axis of our chart. So let's create the default axis, create default axis and set visible equal to true, set the visible true. Okay, now let's create the our Q bar chart bar category axis, set the axis X equal to convert to our default chart axis to bar category axis because we have to set the categories for our at the axis s qt horizontal at of 0 
so we here, here we have to convert convert so let's create the queue object cast for the conversation now let's set the categories set category Set the categories. Now let's create the same as axis y to set the minimum and value and maximum value. Change here to vertical. But we here we have to define the value axis, not the category axis. So simply change the object here and set the max value so let's assign the axis y get the max value and apply 1.02 percent multiply multiply it and set the mean value so get the mean value and apply the 0.98 now Let's set the legend legend set visible true also and also assign the your legend alignment set alignment align bottom okay now let's create the chart view to display our chart now let's set the some render in to painter and the aliasing okay now let's set the chart view so our code is ready now just simply run the application So you can see the candles value so this is the random data that's why you cannot see the candles are properly so let's some um, assign this some proper formatted data so this is the opening value and this is the high value and this is the low value and this is the close value so guys I can see some data here to real-time data so now let's run the application in CT chart. So we can see the actual chart of our result. So by this way you can easily create the candlestick chart or trading view chart application in QT. So I hope you understand very well and Please drop your comment if you have any questions about QT candlestick chart. And thanks for watching my video. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video with your friends, and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video. Thank you.